In this video, we're going to be discussing the jog commands and how to jog your machine around. Um, now that you've powered up your machine, you're ready to start moving it. Um, really, the first thing to know is your jog buttons are your arrow buttons. Your right and left arrow on the keyboard buttons um, control your x-axis, and your up and down arrow buttons control your gantry, or your y-axis. So this is your x-axis right and left your gantry is up an arrow down moves it negative arrow up moves it positive and this arrow right moves the x-axis positive arrow left moves it negative in page up and page down control your z-axis page up moving positive page down moving negative so um, Next, we're going to move over to the diagnostic screen. This is where you're going to have your jog control. Um, right now, as you can see down here, I have the jog rate, and it's showing 50%. So right now, I'm jogging at 50% of my max speed. Um, and now I can set it to run at 100 if I want, and I'll run much faster. Generally, I find that 50% is more than enough for just moving around the table. Now, of course, when you're in a program and you're doing rapids, the machine still is, gonna, is still going to rapid at the full speed, the full maximum speed. So um, this only controls the jog speed. Now, um, another little trick you can set up is that if you... Um, hold the shift button down while you jog it overrides your slow jog rate and jogs the machine at full speed so um, this is a handy little way to quite often you can say set it at 30 percent this is a much slower jog rate it's easier for you to line up with your plate easier for you to see exactly how close you are and make small movements However, when you need to get to the end of the table, you can hit the shift button and jog as fast as you need to. So, um, next we're going to talk about the jog mode. Now, currently I'm in continuous mode. Um, there's two modes available to you, continuous and step mode. So, if I switch it over to step mode, you can barely see that little step right there. But... Um, what this is going to do in continuous mode basically the machine jogs as long as I have my finger on the button okay when I switch over to step mode I can set a prescribed distance for the machine to move now that could be and that distance is located right here so if I put in five inches then my and I hit the um, arrow right button my x-axis is going to move five inches to the right and stop. So you could also you can also do very small movements, 0 0.01, you know, a hundredth of an inch. You guys can't even see that. You probably can't hear it either, but it's moving very slightly as I tap this. So um, you know, so basically, this is a really good way to try to like go prescribe distances or perhaps to measure out the uh, distance on your plate of a particular part make sure that you're going to not run off the plate there's a number of different uses for it but um, one thing to remember is you always want to make sure you get out of step mode because um, it will stay in step mode until you switch it over to continuous and you can run into problems if you're over on the program screen and you start trying to jog and all of a sudden your axis wants to run off whatever 10 20 inches in one direction you don't want it to um, so but that's basically the jog commands the keys um, and your jog um, uh, set up here on the diagnostics page so play with that and uh, get comfortable jogging around play with all these different settings try out the different step modes and um, you'll be well on your way.